Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I uh, hope you're all doing okay in this uh, interesting times that we have nowadays. Um, I thought I'd do a Q&A for the channel um, and see uh, if we have any questions about the channel, what we're up to, and we have quite a few. So, a couple of Instagram and a few off Twitter. Hi. Kick off with uh, Nathan's golf. It says, "How the lockdown going?" <sighs> I don't know, mate. It's just getting boring. Just nothing to do. You can't go anywhere, um, and it's sun shining, and I can't play golf. Um, plans for the summer, obviously, to get out and play some golf when we can. Um, and obviously tour around a few more courses around the North West, which I've not played before, which I'm looking forward to doing. And he also asks if I've got any new plans for handicaps, strokes and new kit. Handicap, yeah, I'm going to start playing in some more comps at the golf club, um, which I've joined full time this year. And new kit, yeah, I bought a three wood and it arrived two days after lockdown. Um, so I've not even hit it yet. So he's sat in the bag, ready to go. But, uh, thanks for the questions, pal. No problem. Mr. Bogey Brothers, over at the pond. Well, these guys keep playing golf and it's making me really jealous. So, I'll have to have words with them. Right, they asked me, what's my ultimate goal for the channel? It's a tough one, that, guys. Um, I don't want to just stick it with golf. I want to do a mixture of golf and other things. Um, you know, if he doesn't reach a thousand subscribers, if it stays around three or four hundred, if he gets that much, then I'm happy because it's it's I want something for everybody. I don't want to go down the alley of just one one subject. Because um, as you found out right now, um, there's no golf. We can't play golf. It's very hard to do some content. Um, so I'd like to just mix and match it up. You know, bit of golf, and if I'm going out somewhere. And it takes me fancy, you know, I'll take the camera with me. Uh, hopefully people might enjoy it, you know. It's it's all about that one person. If that person, one person enjoys it, then the job's done, you know. It's like, um, if you look at my beginning of my videos, there's a holiday one um, to Bulgaria. And I just saw then I used a GoPro and I filmed it. I think one of them's had 6,000 hits. Obviously people have gone there and looked at it and thought, oh, hang on a minute, let's check YouTube and see if there's uh, anybody's been there. So that's what I want to do, is just put it up there so people can look and, you know, see, see what they want. Also, I like to do golf club reviews as well. Because I won't buy them, but I can get hold of them and I can test them out. And I might not be the best tester in the world, but, you know... Somebody could decide whether they want to spend 300 quid on a driver, it's up to them. But uh, thanks for the questions, guys, and stay safe. Right, this one is off the Midnight Golfer. Bits of a controversial one, this one. Allotments are open for people in groups of two. Uh, and he's just wondering what the difference is in social distancing is in golf as going to the allotments. Yes, I can I can see the point. Um, you know, golf courses could be open. You keep the social distance um, on the course, which is fine. But you've got the other thing of the clubhouse. It's obviously my my club. The, the clubhouse doesn't open anyway, unless it's uh, during the week. The seniors and stuff. But um, you've got to have somebody there, I suppose, to man it. Which I suppose could put them at risk, um, and they might not want to do. I don't know. There isn't any. I don't see. But there's the risk for the club itself. I think of having somebody there all the time. Hopefully, uh, a couple of weeks will be open anyway. But no, I don't think there's much difference between the allotment and golf being open. But I suppose the other thing you have to consider is. Do the people who go to these allotments walk to the allotments or do they drive? If they're walking, it's fine. If they're driving, then no, you shouldn't be driving to somewhere. 
that's what they say anyway. But they keep changing the rules. One minute you can't drive, the next minute you can drive to walk. So I don't know what the truth is. I think we'll never know. Thanks for the question. Um, Aidan Judd, another one over in the pond. Over the over in the pond. Over the pond. He says, "What got me into golf?" Uh, I think Aiden, it was a lad I, lad I worked with, uh, went working for. He was uh, actually went to football with as well. He he had a bit of like a golf society going at work where they used to go away every every summer. I think that's how I got into it, um, playing with him. Um, and obviously back then it's what nearly eight eight nine years ago now. Um, I started off and I was just like going out and buying. You know, a club, one club at a time, because obviously I couldn't afford a full set. But I think it was a mate of work I used to work with, and all the guys who worked there had a, a golf day out. So that's what got me into it. And I've sort of hooked ever since. Um, had a bit of a break because my daughter wanted to be, uh, decided she wanted to do swimming competitively. So I um, had a break for a few years and come back into it. And. Uh, you know, the rest is history. Uh, question from Shanks a bunch. Some new guys that have just come up on Twitter. Um, what's the question? Best achievement in golf so far? Probably getting a handicap. Official one. Um, that's probably the best achievement. Um, or I could say playing at Celtic Manor. That's another, I thought that was another achievement to do because you know, not a lot of people could say they've played there, and I have. Um, so that was an achievement, I enjoyed that as well. Hope that makes sense. Um, well, there is another one coming there. Uh, this is from uh, Antfield House. Um, who do you generally think are decent creators in your time of being involved in YouTube? <sighs> it's a tough one, that, Ant, because... Um, you start watching people, and then this other thing, they're a Hollywood director. And they go off and do all these these things that I just don't see the point of, but I suppose it's the creative side of them. Um, it's like called Simon Wilson, who I started watching first. He did a trip from L.A. to New, New, York, no, New York to L.A., um, and that was a lot of good little series, and I thought his, his content he did there was really good. It was nothing fancy, it was sort of straight to the point. Um, and the editing was really good as well. So he's a good, good creator. Um, uh, Liam, Golf Fox UK, some of the stuff Liam does, I think he's really good. Some of the stuff, um, I watch it and I, I just, I, I don't know, I, I lose interest. But, you know, each to their own. Um, most of the other people that I sit and watch, they just they do the basics, is what, what I like. I don't like all the fancy stuff, I just want the basics. Um, and also, I think your, your channel's coming along really good as well, mate. Now you've moved over to the vlogging side. Um, and I'll give you an example. Um, Rich Heaney. Started off, I thought really, really good. Content was good, but now he's sort of, I don't know, he's just sort of gone off the boil for me. He's trying to be me too creative, um, which I just don't, I, don't, I lose interest in. Uh, you know, just get straight to the point. Uh, I think that is the questions. Oh, no, oh hang on. Big Ben Golf. I forgot Big Ben Golf. What's a dream for your golf game? Scratch, handicap, hole in one, etc., etc. How realistic do you think it'll be? Whew, scratch, handicap, no chance. Hole in one, anything is possible. <laughs> That's Charles name, anything is possible. Yeah, you know, one day I might get there. Um, I'm a golf game. Well, I'm on 22 handicap at the minute, Ben. Um, I want to try and get down to 15. For by next season, if I can, um, but obviously playing every night or every other night is good. 
because you, you keep playing and you, you're, up, you're up to speed on the green, the game. Um, but playing once once a week or not at all right now is no good. I need to be playing every night to um, keep me keep me going. Right, so that's uh, that's all the questions I've got. So thanks for watching. If you're still watching, uh, give us a quick subscribe. Will be appreciated. Um, stay safe, and uh, we'll come through this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.